This is the Commodity Scrap Metal Recycling and Economic Report, January 8, 2024. U.S. weekly raw steel production fell to 1.68 million tons on continued slow U.S. manufacturing. WTI crude oil price rose to 73.89 a barrel on escalating tensions in the Middle East, but gasoline prices remain below last year. The U.S. weekly oil rig count rose slightly to 501 on great productivity per well. U.S. weekly crude oil production fell just slightly to 13.2 million barrels per day, just off the all-time record high that we saw last week. This was as the U.S. and other non-OPEC countries' production is keeping prices stable. The U.S. is still the number one oil producer in the world, more than Saudi Arabia or Russia. Scrap steel number one HMS price was steady at 380 gross ton. There is slight upward pressure, but some downward talk as well. Hot roll coil steel price rose slightly to $55 per hundred weight, which is $1,100 a ton on higher iron ore price and as mills work to increase profit margins. Copper price fell to $3.80 a pound, but remains high on the strength of the U.S. dollar and lower China manufacturing data. Aluminum price fell to $1.03 a pound, which is $22.74 a metric ton on reports of strong investments in Guinean bauxite mining that's used for aluminum. U.S. December ISM Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index rose to 47.4, which was better, but it's still under 50. So that means we're in contraction still. Production and jobs rose, but new orders and inventories fell. It remains interesting that after the huge 2018 tax cut, Manufacturing in the United States actually fell. U.S. December new jobs report added 216,000 jobs, which was above forecast. Government and leisure added the most, while transportation and warehousing fell. U.S. December average hourly earnings rose 4.1% over last year, which is good and bad. It's bad that it's viewed as inflationary. It's good that it's well above the 3.1% inflation, so people are catching up on wages. Note that there was an enormous wage gain during COVID in the beginning, while there was very low inflation. U.S. December all employment payrolls, which is non-farm. It rose to 157.2 million, the highest in American history. There are 5 million more people working today than pre-COVID, that's pre-COVID. More workers means more supplies and more services, so lower inflation. U.S. December unemployment rate was steady at 3.7%. Inflation is dropping and employment remains strong. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 244 points to 37,466. There was a massive run-up in Q4, followed by profit-taking in the, during the past few days in January. Most people's 401ks are at or near record levels. Roll off trailers by Ben Lee, the super mini long. Call us about this short 33 foot triaxle 80,000 GBW trailer, which is great for tight spots. It has a heavy duty specification and is a heavy hauler. Call Ben Lee at 734-722-8100 for a quote. This report is brought to you by Ben Lee roll off trailers, gondola trailers, lugger trucks, and roll off trailer parts. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions, and we hope I'll have a safe and profitable week.